You're, you're very into the Japanese culture, right? <clears throat> kind of. P do people just assume you're way more into it than you are? Yes. Because I was just going to ask. They think I watch anime. They think um, all I do is play video games. I mean, I love video uh -huh. games, and I used to like animation, but I, I mean, I just, I don't really have time for it, and I just... Oh, you just lost a bunch of fans there. <laughs> the 45 of them? I, I, I lost plumbing. five of the 45 that was out there. How about this constipation you know. story? I know the yeah. story, but to have you tell oh, it would be wait, wait, what is the story? What is this story? Well, he's going to lead us into it. Go ahead. Wait, no, this, that story that this you sounds dangerous that, here. That you're at your house and you, you're eating so much candy, drinking so oh, much soda. Oh, this one. This is a long This time. is a gnarly one with a toothbrush. Is it good? Is this a yeah, warning really for kids good. out it's, there? Yeah, it's really good. It's right it up the show's alley. There's a toothbrush candy and involved, constipation yeah. involved? Yeah, yeah, butthole. Uh-oh. It's pretty gnarly. Well, I figured there'd be a butthole involved. Oh man, this is, is a crazy this We're story. talking about this? Yeah. It was Wait, awesome. Please. Well, when you eat lots of Twinkies, you go on tour with this guy and Tony Hawk and Dom Kekic and Steve Barra when he doesn't talk to me for two weeks. <laughs> and he does other things. And that's great. We had a great time. But, um, but then this you, don't eat any, you don't eat any food. I didn't eat any food. There yeah. was points when I didn't really eat food. I just yeah. ate, you know, horrible stuff. Vending it's, machine. Yeah, vending yeah. machines, yeah. What, whatever. Yeah. And so I couldn't go to the bathroom properly, but I For knew. For two weeks. But I knew that it had to come out. God, this is gonna be on the fucking show. <laughs> what do you have to lose? No, I have nothing to lose. It's, it's, funny. it's pretty it's funny just, though. It's just that I don't want people to have to think about my ass <laughs> yeah. because I think that's horrible. Nobody wants to think about that. I do. No, no, you don't. Because there's a toothbrush involved, and that's even funnier. Well, no, I just grabbed whatever was around when I couldn't get it out, and so I, I used the toothbrush to try to see if what was happening. Toothbrush didn't do shit, because I ain't sticking anything in my ass. So what did you do it? No, How the fun? toothbrush oh, was, it was just like... around, around the just, rim. You just perimetered it? Yeah, this is <laughs> per video. I'm pissed about the, this. The rim. No, it was just like a little tap, and I'm like, okay, this is crazy. I gotta just go <laughs> for it. I tapped it, and then I go, oh, I gotta just go for it. So then you just push extra hard, uh -huh. and now it you... feels like you're gonna like... Rip open. Blow yourself up, or whatever <laughs> you wanna call it. And then, um, you, you it said comes you out. You told me you grabbed it. You you're grabbed so, wait a second. Oh yeah, I, I checked it out. Because <laughs> it, it was like a rock. <laughs> it, would, it would not, it, do, it wasn't like, we gotta move, let's move on to another no, wait, wait, story. Wait, wait. How many pretty, times do you try to shit, but, like how many times do you try? But, like, no, what it was, was I told Tony, I'm like, dude, I haven't shit for two weeks. He's like, oh. what? I haven't shit for two weeks. He's like, Dude, <laughs> yeah. you hear about the poltergeist girl? She died. She didn't shit. I'm like, who, the little one? Yeah. I'm oh, like, that's how she died. Well, I don't really know if that's what it was. But that's that was... really funny that that's funny. And God. so I don't know if he even said that, but like, <laughs> I got that in my head. I'm like, I gotta shit. Yeah. And so that's what I did. So you just I didn't know we were going to be talking about shit. But it, but it happened. Did you throw it's, a, it's a happy story. It's a happy and, story. And Tony Hawk, yeah. who Who's pays all your guys' bills here, was involved. How much do you guys get paid for this? Not, Not enough. enough. <laughs> 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 Willie, um, it says here that on the hookup store that you weren't allowed to drive the van, and when you did, what happened? Oh, I was allowed to drive the van, no, you, no. but I set it on fire. That's on that, the, I didn't know it was redlining when we were, I was driving, it was like, I don't know, four or five in the morning. He was allowed to drive the van, yeah. but he never was allowed to drive it again after he caught the van on yeah. fire. So, <laughs> yeah. No, what? It was on accident. It was redlining, and then the engine caught on fire. It was heating oh, up. Okay, I didn't. Okay. I wasn't paying attention. And it was, was on driving. fire. And yeah. Nebraska old dudes with fire extinguishers pulled him over and was putting the van out as we wake up to vanilla ice. <laughs> but what's the, what, what else we got here? What do we got? Let's break in. Hey, you guys ever had a warhead? <laughs> Wait, is that I have, but I haven't I for a long time. Is it the original hard ones? Yeah, yeah, I got the original. They're so sour. Do you, you have a watermelon one? You guys one? should try them. Oh. I, I, bought, I brought some. Try them. Oh, is these it? got assorted ones. Okay, yeah, let's just let's up. just get messed up on all sorts of stuff. I'm going to see if Warheads. there's a watermelon one in here. I like that you're like. just, you've just got the same vibe we're... going that you've had for 25 years. Candy and watermelon. fire. Well, I mean, <laughs> the fire thing is kind of like just something that... He's going to be constipated after this. No, here's the thing. Watermelon yeah, I want to. I want to not shit raspberry. for two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Give me whatever you. Whatever I don't think, did I that. Think, I think he'll be shitting fine. Watermelon's really. <laughs> We're not eating that much, but it's Rob. really sour. Okay. This has some wheat germ. You want the only I'm apple one? On one time, me and Heath had a wa uh, warhead contest. We wow. did like a whole handful of warheads. Who won? 
That, that I don't know. <laughs> what happened? Whoa. So we have it on, I have it on video, sad. but it's kind of just like both of us putting, oh, these are horrible. <laughs> putting 20 warheads in our mouths and then kind of going, oh, that really sucks. Kind of <laughs> I feel like you guys were sort of a precursor to Jackass even. But Jackass is kind of like... But not Jackass, but that kind of stuff like documenting hijinks. Mm. Yeah, well, we just, honestly, the funny thing about it is when we were filming The End and then after that we were able to do Destroying America, it was all just about like Tony Hawk and Blitz Distribution, they're giving us this much money and we want to do these particular things. And so we would sit at Heath's house playing Crash Bandicoot all day long watching <laughs> Jerry Springer and go, oh, let's jump off a pier with fire. And we never, never thought that we were going to be able to do that. First of all, I'm terrified of Heights, right? Everything. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, the fire part is actually the easiest part about that because you know for a fact once you're on fire and you're near a body of water, you can go get in the water. Yeah. So, but we never thought that we were going to be able to actually do it because um, it just seemed too out there. Well, I was scared, and we were all we were both very scared of it. So, but then when it was happening, it was kind of crazy that we actually got to do it. But. Is that how you guys got to share apart, just because you were throwing out weird ideas? Well, we were just hanging out a lot, and so we just had ideas like, okay, we're going to have a street part. Okay, I got three tricks. He's like, okay, I got, I don't know, he had like four or five. Yeah. And, and they're all rad tricks that he's got. Super awesome. You know, he's the first guy to do, you know, backside nose blunts down handrails. He's the first guy to do everything, a lot of basically. Stuff. Yeah. He's the first yeah. guy to do everything. You know. The main thing we wanted to do is this jump ramps thing at night. Um, because we just wanted to do something different. And the reason why the video is called The End is because I generally thought that it was the end. Because I'm like, fuck, what else are you gonna do? And you know, I was clearly wrong because people are doing crazy shit. So I mean, it was just kind of like a tongue in cheek name, The End, you know, whatever. Did you guys get a lot of shit for manufacturing spots in the sense of like bringing the ramps or putting, angle, putting angle iron on stuff that maybe didn't have? <clears throat> For that part? Yeah. Not for that part. Because that's a faux pas. That's become a faux pas. I sense. understand how people go crazy nowadays. I mean, actually, I don't understand, but I'm saying I know people have talked shit about it nowadays, but back then, we had to do it. I mean, if you're trying to skate a stucco blockbuster sign, it doesn't grind, so we had to put something on it. The ramp, if you don't like ramps, don't watch our part, but what I'm saying is you cannot skate a blockbuster sign without the shit that we had to put on top of it. So yeah, yeah every single thing we skate in that part has a sign cover on it, and the funny thing about it is even the bus stop? The bus stop, yeah. We had to bolt <laughs> that to the top of the van and drive it over there. The funny thing about it, it was actually, that, that cover that we made was 13 feet long. That actually stayed on there for oh, like was, six years. Because I lived no right way, by it. Was still there? It stayed for six years on there. What we were thinking is, or I don't know what we were thinking, but in my mind, I was like, you know, if somebody doesn't know anything about skating, which is actually, as a skater myself, is not really the right way to think. Mm -hmm. But I was like, fuck, if, if, if my mom watches it, if some dude watches it, I want them to go, oh, wow, he's grinding on a bus stop. I can relate to that because that's really high. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. I, I wanted that to get across the part. So then we just started thinking of all this shit like, okay, let's just get on to whatever we can get on to. And just paint the ramp green so it looks stupid. You know, I've got lights, you know. It's... That's what we did. It was yeah. uh, interesting for us and it was very difficult. Because I was old back then. <laughs> oh, I, was, I was already too old back then. I shouldn't have been doing that back then. I just read recently that you sort of discovered, kind of, for lack of a better term, discovered some dudes. Greco, Adrian Lopez. Uh, he, he I mean, I didn't Greco. discover yes. him. You I helped mean, Andrew and Matt Beach get on Birdhouse back in the day? Yeah, I mean, I, I saw they had some talent. They both wrote for GNS. Mm -hmm. uh, Tony asked me, like, oh, we need some AM writers for for GNS, or for Birdhouse. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, I know Matt and Andrew, yeah. just to bring them on board. And then Tony's like, okay, let's do it. Wow. Yeah, and then Greco, I met him at uh, some New York contest. I was at him that contest. Him and uh, Tim Upson were ripping. I was, this is before the contest started, or whatever, yeah. it was like practice. For some reason, I was just like, oh, I, I th it seemed like he would get along together with Jeremy, and then um, I got his videotape somehow, or it got mailed to Jeremy, and then, uh, Greco got on Birdhouse eventually. 
Why do you have yeah, fireworks? Maybe he'll clean in your up bag? for us though. Hmm? Do you have fireworks in your plastic bag? That you well, yeah, like someone's not going to be. You guys probably have. Were you trying to like deploy fireworks in here? No, at some I point? say you deploy fireworks. Oh my god! Oh no, this is, this is really That's good a for crack doing pipe. The, this is for like this, like. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shit like that, you know. Wow. This is for creme brulee. You make you creme brulee. Should, you should be in a band I mean, with Wayne. I eat creme brulee. I don't kind of make it. Moves. Do you make creme brulee? Really? I've you made cook? it a couple times. It, it's more of a hassle to make. You can actually. Did I spit on you? No, no, no. I was more afraid of setting up, being caught it on fire. It smells like. Erica, should you put it right here? Yeah, just anywhere no. not in the fire zone. It's oh, like we're a doing a ground room flower on oh, here. We go. There's a splash up. Oh my god. Oh, wait, what happened? These aren't a big deal. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Oh, it sounds like a fart. Oh, that was a long one. Wow, I actually got. Well, we, we missed burn. Fourth of July. You just burn your pants. Yeah. Oh I have God. polyester pants on. <laughs> it's just How the right size for a toothbrush. <laughs> yeah. How did that happen? Wow, Wait, Willie, what, Willie how seems did that, like he's into that. How did he? How did you burn that just now? What? It's something. It, something came off. Yeah, flew off. Good thing that it didn't go to your uh, spandex pants. What kind of are those, dicky, are those dickies? No, they're Wrangler Ranchers. They're hundred percent polyester. Damn. Unfortunately for me. <laughs> okay. Wait, how, do you, how do you know about me then? The only reason I know, you about, know about you me? is because you came up to me in a contest and told me that you loved me. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. We all know wow. that you guys. Wow. That's awesome. Hey, wait. No, I, that sounds like I used to watch right it. now to you guys. Actually, yeah, yeah. and then Tony yeah. did the company with us and forced us to be on the same company together. Of course that that's, whole yeah. deal. Yeah. Wait, can you, what made you love Jeremy enough to go up to him and tell him that you loved him? Did I say I loved that him? That is weird, huh? Did I say I love I think him? it's cool. It was at the um, Houston contest. It was a pro con maybe my second or third pro contest, and I was psyched to see him there because you know Rubber Sheep already yeah. came out, and I used to watch his whole video part uh -huh. slow mo because I was just like, oh Jeremy yeah. Klein's the man. Yeah. <laughs> but you remember I, I said I love him. I remember that. Do you remember like what, like how? So much? I was like 15 years old. I said I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember like were you super nervous going up to him? Yeah, yeah. He didn't seem nervous. Was he cool um, to you? Yeah, he seemed cool. Or maybe he said something lame, but then I was like, oh whatever. <laughs> Whatever, you're still yeah. the best. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and here you are. I did not say he's been named to you. Come on. <laughs> you guys seem so opposite. Yeah, you've been we are very opposite. Like we years. are very opposite. He's <laughs> yeah. cool with everything. I'm upset about a lot of things, <laughs> angry a lot, but we get along really good. I don't yeah. know why. What's your favorite thing about each other? I don't know. It's never a dull moment hanging out like with him. Like his eyes. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, yeah. with <laughs> Willie, he loves you. I mean, he told you he loved you the yeah. first time you met. Honestly, Aww. with Willie, though, it's like I feel so comfortable with the guy, you know? It's not, it's not, it's you not just crazy. Be you just be you. I can be you, I can be myself around Willie and he's gonna accept me. That's yeah. cool. If I say something to him that maybe sounds kind of mean, he yeah. knows that like, I don't really mean it that way. It's yeah. like he understands, you know, yeah. and I've had a big reputation in skateboarding where I'm yeah. the biggest asshole in the world. Yeah. And yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yes. when you don't know me, you know, it might come off that way. I totally get it. I, I, get, no, I get that too from people. No problem with that. It's just like, but if you know somebody, sometimes, you know, they accept you for, they understand you, you know? So. We understand each other. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a loud slap. <laughs> we used to actually have wars at the office where I'd find the worst video I could find, and then I'd lift up the LCD screen and f focus it towards this guy, and the guy would throw up sometimes into a, a trash can. <laughs> when you show somebody yummy diarrhea picnic, the video, okay, yeah, and they see that for the first time, they throw right up. <laughs> they throw. Really? Yummy diarrhea picnic. It's like an Whoa. oxymoron. It's like horrible <laughs> candy. It's like yeah. yummy diarrhea picnic. I'm gonna look it up tonight. Look up yummy diarrhea picnic, and then try not to throw up. Once Willie started having sex. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Things got harder, <laughs> okay. and I don't mean his cock. I'm talking about like...